y'all. Good morning. We're here this morning in Orlando at Moss Park. It's a county campground and it's a really beautiful campground uh, for as close as it is to the city. It's very secluded. Uh, there's a couple of lakes on it, some walking trails, and we're going to take a quick tour around the campground this morning. Yep. Um, this is actually a nature preserve and there's like 1,551 acres and they have about 50 something campsites. <laughs> and in addition, we're going to show you something that they have that I think is unique and something that is a, a good plan. They're called family campsites. So in just a little bit, we'll take a, a quick tour around the campground, show you some of the amenities that they have here and talk to you about the park more. Okay, well, let's go. All right. All the sites have water and electric, and you can see from the looks of our site here, which is site 51, that the sites are deep. I mean, ours is a 41 foot camper and the truck is sitting in front of it and we're still have room in the back and still have room in the front. So they're nice deep sites. And this is typical of the site. They do have a couple of designated handicap spots that are all concrete. So if you have someone that has a mobility issue, they're not tripping over things and they can also operate a wheelchair or a cart with ease here. And there's a sidewalk that goes all the way to the bathhouse. And here is what I think is a very unique and special type of site that they have here at Moss Park. This is the family campsite. There are hookups here for three rigs, again, 30 and 50 amp, and they're all pull through, and they're long enough that you could put easily three of our campers in here, and then you'd have room to put the trucks over to the side. Each one of the family camp sites have a large area with picnic tables, a big grill, and a fire ring. Except for the handicap sites, all of the sites here at Moss Park are hard packed sand, just like the roads, and no problem getting in or out. And here you see an example of one of the family sites that's set up for a family. They've got several tents, several vehicles, and one camper. Let's go check out some of the other amenities. They have an abundance of wildlife here at Moss Park. Any kind from birds to white-tailed deer to Sherman fox squirrels, which we haven't seen any of those, but they're, they must be here. Yesterday we took a walk down to the family picnic area and we saw a flock of um, storks. storks and ibis and they were just all over that area uh, down by the lake there's an island out in the lake that they call bird island and it actually you can look across and see the many birds just all in the trees and bushes and uh, it was a quite a rookery that's right so if you're into wildlife if you're into bird watching you can come here and speaking of wildlife Another, some of the amenities that we have here at the park include a playground for the kids. They can just get out here and get wild. There's also a volleyball court, sand volleyball. And if you walk this way with us, we're gonna go across a bridge out to the lake and docks. This is a very nice picnic shelter and it's for camper use only. So this is also near the family campsites. If you have a large party, um, you can come here and I have plenty for, plenty for everybody. This is a long, beautiful dock.
Lake Mary Jane borders the park on the east side. And as you can see, there are several people out fishing, either from the dock or from boats. And across Lake Mary Jane, there in the middle, you can see, as Sarah was talking about earlier, Bird Island, which is a rookery. The only thing about Lake Mary Jane that I've seen so far that would be a negative is that it says no swimming, and that's mostly because of the abundance of alligators, which we haven't seen yet. But again, we are in Florida, and wherever you find a body of water, you're most likely going to find an alligator or two. The dock's not only used for fishing, but if you bring a boat with you here, you can even moor your boat here while you're camping. They have six sites for mooring boats. So let's go see what else we can find here at Moss Park. Here's something you don't see every day. Um, we, came, we were just walking along, came across this area, and you see the cypress knees sticking out of the ground everywhere. And I started looking around. I thought, well, there's pines and there's oaks all around, but where's the cypress tree? And oddly enough, the cypress tree is right in the center of all these oaks and uh, pine trees. So what type of set up would you call that honey <laughs> well it is a low area and the lake's not far so i'm sure this area floods quite often or has in the past and so that's why you have the cypress tree with with the knees uh, if you look out across that area there's actually several cypress trees out in there and so this low area probably holds water if we have a really wet season yeah okay thank you you, you just have a plethora of knowledge that I have to call upon every once in a while. <laughs> That's right. One of my favorite things to do when we're out uh, walking and exploring is to find unusual things in nature. And these two trees that we're amongst are certainly unusual. I just love the way the, the limbs like spread out in all different directions. I'm not even sure what type of oak this is. Maybe it's a water oak, honey? Live oak. A live oak. So, and I don't even know how old these trees are. They can't be, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't even want to guess. But they're just so unusual and, and unique. This one right behind me, all on the right side of it, there's hardly no limbs at all. And then on the left are our leaves and the limbs, but on the left side of it, there's all these greenery and tree um, leaves going on. It's almost as if the wind came along and blew the tree to one side and everything grew on that side of the tree. And it was just so interesting, I just had to stop and share it with you. Sit on it and swing. So we're currently on the Split Oak Trail. It's a 4.2 mile loop trail. So we're gonna take that this morning. And Sarah, what have you seen so far on this trail that you thought was amazing? Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, The Go With The Flow Couple. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications. Bye y'all.